Hi and good evening and welcome back. I'm Mr. Hoops and if you want to be a part of the hashtag Oops Troop do jump on board, like and subscribe. Probably making on another video, what's going on? But this um somewhat important. I was looking into next week's Wednesday wine at number two. I was gonna look at look at mud flooding. Thought that's an interesting thing to look at and um, you know occasionally YouTube spins you a kind of left field ball there. Now uh, something that comes out of the corner of your eye. Um, and I looked at it and what I found was rather disturbing. Uh, I can't tell you what that is yet because you need to hear the story. I was looking into uh, Mud Flood and Tataria and Global Resets and what I found is there has indeed been a Global Reset. There has been a flood but it's certainly wasn't mud. Tartaria. Tartar is a source for fish and it's also the biggest cover-up and the biggest conspiracy that the real story and the real tragedy that is the downfall of the Ketchupian Empire. So at this point I'll probably put in a title sequence but I want to get this video out because the message is important. So let's look at the uh, Ketchupian Empire. This empire was built up by workers, ground floor workers, solid hard workers. It was built and they were leading the world. The Ketchupians rose. But where's the evidence for this Ketchupian empire? Well, it's everywhere. It's all over the place because beneath your feet. It's the floor you walk on. It's the buildings that you live in are standing on it. It's the road your car and vehicles drive on. It's the foundations. These people built the foundations. The Ketchupians built foundations. And the only reason buildings are here and why you can walk on the floor and your car can drive on the wall is a legacy of the Ketchupian Empire. Now, the Ketchupians didn't just build foundations because of their implements that people could only build their buildings and drive their cars and walk on the floor it was because of the Ketchupian Enterprise and the Ketchupian uh, influence is that they built foundations of building, but they built the foundations of society itself. No foundations, no buildings, no society. That's the importance of the Ketchupian Empire. Of course, the elite couldn't be doing with that. We can't have the Ketchupians, these foundation builders, being the leaders of society and the elite had to do something about this and this is where your global reset comes in. This is where the biggest conspiracy you've ever heard of is happening and it happened when the elite decided that the Ketchupians could no longer be the dominant force in life and in society and there was indeed a flood inspired by them, created by the elite. How? I don't know yet. But they did create the flood. Not mud. But it was a blood flood. Disaster ensued and the Ketchupians were wiped out. But how could the elite stop the Ketchupians ever rising to prominence again? And once again, that video I told you I saw revealed what the truth truly is. The Ketchupians and their ancestry are drugged either directly or indirectly. Subliminally and hypnotically, they are hypnotized by tomato sauce. It is a warning and a reminder of the blood flood. It's red and it's called Ketchup? A coincidence? I don't think so. So, we need to get a message out there. Did a quick uh, YouTube search and there's nothing there. There's no videos to be found. Look. 
There's not even a ketchup and debunker video. They're gone too. Surely, of the multitude of conspiracy theorists out there, someone must have spotted it and where are their videos? So, I'm appealing to you to not let the Ketchupian story be washed away with the blood. This video may of course get removed too, so please share it with your friends and your family who well may be uh, descendants of the Ketchupian Empire. Link it to every flat earther, to every mud flood and the rest. They are all barking up the wrong tree. They are wandering down the wrong path. I mean, bizarrely, if this video could just be on Simon Dan's Tinfoil Tuesday, with him doing a vague attempt to debunk it, it would at least give a voice to the legacy of the Ketchupian Empire, and its voice might be heard. Thanks for listening. I'll see you next time.